just want to preface this video that I'm not a Notion Pro, an infant, a beginner at best. To any Notion Pros watching this, well, get out of here, go. So, Notion. I've always wondered how YouTubers like Ali Abdal make their Notion workspace so nice. I did some investigating and just compare this. Turns out it's all in the icons. It almost doesn't matter what kind of pages you have in Notion, if they have icons or emoji, it will work. Of course, all these hundreds of emojis can feel so limiting. If you run out of them, you can use a website called Icon Brew, where you can just click on an icon and it downloads as an SVG. Don't get scared of this format, it just means that you can resize it without losing quality. Notion will understand it. Another website that has the same thing is feathericons.com. So when you insert a page in Notion, you can just click on its icon, select custom, and either insert a link of an image or just click upload file and upload your icon. Beautiful. Now here are two tips in one to save some time. You just saw a crazy life-changing tweet and you have to save it, but your dog is pissing on the carpet so you have five seconds to act. Instead of going to Notion and then creating a new page, you can just do notion.new in the browser. Then if you want to insert something lightning fast, just hit the forward slash and boom, tweet saved and embedded. You can also add a lot more cool stuff with the magic slash such as an elephant. What the hell are databases? All the YouTubers say this scary word, but I have no idea what it means. So I forced myself to add that into the script of this video, and now I'm forced to learn about them. Essentially, what I've gathered from this Thomas Frank video is that databases are pages inside pages. Pageception. So if I create a new page and if I create a database using the previously mentioned magic forward slash, it just gives me a random table. But you'll notice that I can open each of these cells of the table, which will show me another page. A page within my page. A database. Let me just add a few of these pages to the database and now I can also give them a tag. And the beauty of this is that essentially a database lets you view things in many different ways, however you want to. So this is a table view and I can go on these three dots, layout and choose something like board. Now it categorizes my pages by tags or a list view which just gets rid of the table or gallery view. You get the point. This can get very complicated very quickly, but that's for another video. By the way, if you're enjoying this one, I'm sure that you'll enjoy my newsletter letter even more. I send it out once a month with a tip, some cool website I discovered, or an inspiring quote from a book that I'm reading. You can read it completely for free in the description or subscribe to it by entering your email and you'll get it for free every month inside your inbox. See you later!